Ready or not, good movie's coming. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for Ready or Not, a film that came out last year, which admittedly I didn't get to see, but I kind of really wish I did because I heard a lot of good hype about this movie, but now having seen it, even with that pre-notion of how good it supposedly is, I dug it. And I agree with all of the positive criticism that this film has gotten. It is a fun movie, it's a smart movie, and it's a very well-paced film. The film follows this woman who's getting married into this family in a very kind of bizarre sort of ceremony. The whole thing feels really off. All of the family members are very weird, especially Hatchet Aunt over on the side here. But then it comes to the game, which is a tradition in the family. Sometimes it's chess, sometimes it's checkers, but there is once in a while where a certain card is pulled and that's when things kind of get a bit bloody. The game is hide and seek and the family has to hunt down the bride, but she ain't no sissy. She ain't going down without a fight. And she's a really commendable character. There's those moments in horror films where you'll be yelling at the screen, yelling at the characters, do this thing, don't do that, you dummy. She essentially anticipates it every time before it actually happens. Kind of like how Cloverfield 10 Lane would keep on subverting you. It would lead to the question and the answer that you were already saying earlier on and it gives you the answer and it gives you a completely different route to go. By the time you figured out that, it will then deviate again because it's a thinking ahead of you. And this film does the same thing. It is thinking ahead of you. It is giving you a very smart, well laid out survival film. And it reminds me a lot of Your Next, which was an Adam Wingard film directed, oh, I think in the early 2010s. Funny enough that people aren't talking about that movie because Ready or Not is essentially a better version of Your Next. Your Next is commendable, it's very well done, and actually it follows a lot of the same ideologies as this film does. This film just has it going the whole time. There's never downtime, you're always in the character's corner and we're finding out more about the family, their history and why they are the way they are. And you're also getting a lot of surprising laughs. There's a lot of very funny moments that happen throughout this film that kind of help with the gravitas of the situation. The thrilling aspect is great. There's some horror elements that are very well done. There's not a lot of jump scares. Thank God in this kind of movie, it doesn't devalue itself for that. I actually enjoyed all of the characters in this film, even the groom, who is the one who is bringing this bride, unfortunately, into this family game, and we see an arc with him, which admittedly doesn't end, and I think in the best of ways, it just kind of ends for the sake of the film ending, but otherwise, that's kind of my one detractor of it. Mm, last sequence doesn't exactly execute itself well, but the final result is fucking hilarious. Either way, Ready or Not is a fun film. It subverts your expectations in a good way. It's smart enough to think ahead of you. Every time you think something should happen, it's going to do it. This was a well-written script. It's a well-executed film. I'm very excited to see what these guys do next. I'm excited to see what this actress does next because she's essentially a different version of Margot Robbie. I even think she's Australian. But I really enjoyed this film. I had a fun time watching it. I was consistently engaged the whole time. It had me in its grasp and I was rooting for the character the whole time, which is definitely a sign of a good film. I also liked the visual aspect of it too. Everything from the set design to the costume design too. Apparently her dress is a combination of five different dresses. It wasn't just something they bought, they actually physically made it. I always appreciate you don't see that too much. In the end, I'm gonna give Ready or Not a six out of seven. I really like this movie. Anyways, guys, that's all for me. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Otherwise, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say The Click is finally getting back together in an all-new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.